Dad. Yeah, is it coming? <laughs> oh yeah. E. Show which one it. Where did it come from? Cool. You got another one at the bottom there. It's loose as well, isn't it? Yeah. Can that one come out? Right, sorted. Good evening. I've been sitting here, I don't know, for about an hour now. Thought I'd turn the radiators on. I'm thinking, does that seem to be warming up in here very quickly? Yeah, it hurts because I turned it on and plugged it in. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm just finishing off printing out some bits and pieces. I've got to be weeded out, ready for a job. And uh, I've just got to finish off some artwork for somebody. Quickly doing that now. And um, yeah, um, I'm thinking it's only half past nine. I reckon I've got a good, good couple of hours, I reckon, to be able to knock some bits and pieces out I wanted to get done. Um, who knows? Okay, right, so it's now half past ten in the evening. Um, I'm just going to quickly knock up some magnets for a charity called Direct Doorway Donators. Now, we did a little video on this before where we gave some clothes and some stock away that we had for the homeless. Um, obviously, this charity, they do the... Okay, so this charity... They do, they deliver clothes and things and they help any way they can. Um, so this is just our little way of doing something for them. Um, so I'm just knocking up some magnets for him. Okay, so now I've managed to drop my camera probably five or six times now um, off of my makeshift holder. I'm surprised it's even still working. Um, so now I've got to weed this next lot out. My hair. Okay, so now I've got these, so let's just cut this up, just make life a little bit easier. Yeah, definitely needs the blade changing. I'll try not to get my head in the way. Right. Um, so all basically a weeder is, it is just, I'm not sure if you can see that, might be a bit too close, it's just basically got a sharp point on it, that's all it is. And all you need to do is then just carefully peel back the vinyl, trying not to pull up any of the actual letters, like here, see it's pulled up here, um, which is back with the knee, so I'm just going to flick it down. Again, keeping an eye on it, using the weeder to lift any areas that it's getting stuck on. So here, see a letter's come up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this bit off here. And I'm gonna roll this back, so back where it was. Give it a little tug and have it comes again. Again here it's come off, so I'm going to roll it back, just get it a little push down. Might have to use the weeder a little bit. Again, making sure that the letters are staying where you want them to stay. Again here. Again. Okay, another one. Okay, so there we go. Now this one's quite a simple one. You can clearly see that all the letters are there. Um, there's no dots because it's all capital letters. Um, 
but however if it was something that had lots of writing on it and lots of uh, dots and things like that when you roll this back you can get to a stage where you've pulled it off just hold it up to the light and have a look through it because sometimes when you look through it you might see a piece that you've left in there and you can then retrieve it failing that worst case scenario I've got that other off go so just going to finish getting the rest of these bits out and just weeding out these bits here being careful not to weed out the wrong things it says okay. So now I've weaved it all out. Now I'm going to just check to make sure there's no damage or uh, any letters that are gone a squiff from weeding out or it's lost any pieces like that you shouldn't have missed. So we'll just have a quick look. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now I can put some application tape on it. So let's just zoom back out again. So here's the application tape. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, if you look, it's naturally curling up from where it's been in a roll. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use that curve and I'm going to put it down and roll it out. So going from the middle, making sure that you've got enough room, popping it down in the middle and then what I'll do is I'll then work my way out. So we're not going to grab one. I'm going to take an application squeegee or a paddle. I think I said before, I like to call these paddles because you Okay, so what I'm going to do, from the middle, put my fingers down, and then push up. Now, it's each to your own how you, you do it, really. Uh, everyone's got their own methods. Okay, so now, the application tape is on there. Let's zoom back in a bit. So now, let's cut this off a sec. Just make things a bit easier for you guys to see. So now, now this application tape's on over the top of it. Just going to make sure it's nice and stuck down. And now, as you can see, as I lift this off, it stays on the application tape. Okay, so now this one. Okay, so now I'm going to run a piece along the bottom. You can do either a piece along the bottom or top. As a rule, if you're ever measuring something like this, always, if it's got, I mean, this is quite nice, it's got flat edges all the way along, always try and aim for a flat edge. Even if you have to go, right, okay, well, I'll measure right down to, say, here. And go, right, that's three. And then that one's on the three. So then, you know, it's perfect. Um, again. Yeah, same distance. It's got about the same distance either side from the top. Yeah. I'm just going to pull it back until. I'm not sure if you can see that. Until this edge here. Let's zoom out a little bit. So then this edge peels back. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up to here. Let me just come out again. 
So let me just show it again. So I've peeled this back. So I'm using using this masking tape as a hinge. And I've peeled this back and I'm gonna pinch this one and bring it up to my fingers. So now I've got it like this. And it keeps the paper taut. And I'm gonna pull it down this way, not actually touching the where wherever you're putting it onto. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the middle. And I'm going to work one way to another. Like a fanning motion. And as you can see, I'm getting down to this paper now. So again, I'm going to peel this. Peel this back. Try not to put your fingers actually on the vinyl. Because the last thing you want to do is contaminate that. Again. Going all the way over it all, a nice firm push down just to make sure everything's stuck down. And then I'm going to remove the masking tape. And then I'm going to now carefully, at a 45 degree angle, push my hand down here because obviously it's lifting, lifting it up put my hand down and I'm going to slowly at a 45 degree angle just gently pull it back I'm not sure if I'm blocking the view again just carefully pull it back So there we go, all done. Two lots of magnets, ready to go on their vehicle. Good luck people. And if you do have any donations or anything that you feel that you can give, uh, or even spend some time to go down and serve food, then contact these people and they'll steer you in the right direction. So I'm all finished for this evening. About, I don't know, about midnight. Something like that. Midnight, thereabouts. Um, really fancy a nice, I had gam today, so I'm really, really thirsty, so I might stop and get myself a milkshake. Milkshake, I think is going to be the key. Can I have a banana milkshake, please? Sorry, I've had this shake for a minute. Sorry? Sorry, I've had this shake for a minute. Oh, okay. Um, uh, don't worry then. Okay, thank you. Place don't do shakes. What kind of place doesn't do banana milkshake? It's not available at the moment. <laughs>